My name is Bethany Blount. I'm originally from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, but I've spent most of my adult life living here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Today I will be doing my very first triathlon. It is going to be a virtual triathlon, which isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but it'll be a great learning experience all the same. The triathlon I'll be doing is the virtual version of Iron Girl Pleasant Prairie. I first found this triathlon while actually looking for bike races to do, but I really wanted to do this one in particular simply because it's a women's only triathlon and there aren't a lot of those. I also believe women need more opportunities and, and encouragement to be in sports, so I really wanted to have the opportunity and use the opportunity I have to support this triathlon in particular. I've always loved to compete, and as I got to be an adult, I found it really difficult to do team sports, because if you've ever tried to coordinate a team sport with adults and all of their crazy schedules, it's hard to do. So I started looking at more individual sports, like bike racing and running races to do more of, and I really love both of those, so all I had to do is add swimming to start doing triathlon, and the endurance component of it really drives me. I just want to finish it. <laughs> Having never done a triathlon, there are a lot of moving parts that I'm hoping to get right. And since it is a virtual triathlon, I don't have the supports that I would usually have in an actual race with the transitions. So fingers crossed I can finish this and it all goes off without a hitch or with pretty small hitches. If it weren't for COVID, I hopefully would have been competing multiple weekends throughout the entire summer. Uh, the goal was to find a lot of different races throughout the state of Wisconsin, maybe down in Illinois, because it's not too far away, but really just focusing on local races and helping support the charities and the communities that are in my area that I live near. Uh, one of my first races I was hoping to do this year was actually a triathlon in my hometown of Eau Claire, which being at the beginning of June, there was zero hope of that happening. As for the fruits of my labor, I really hope to set a high bar for myself here. Obviously it's my first triathlon, so I don't have a previous triathlon time to use as kind of like a, a way of showing whether or not I'm improving. But I really hope that I can do well here so that as I continue to progress in my training, I will have something competitive to, to look back on. First of all, I would really like to inspire other women and girls to be competitive and join sports like triathlon and find something that they are that they love and are passionate about because really exercising should be something you do your entire life. And I feel like as women get older, they often don't work out as often and they don't compete because of life. <laughs> and family commitments. But second of all, I would really like to inspire my fiance, who always talks about wanting to work out more, and I'm hoping that showing him how easy this can be, easy is probably the wrong word, but I'm hoping this will inspire him to see that it's a lot of fun and hope he will join me in the future. Throughout my training for this, I, I feel a lot better about myself. I feel more confident. When I first got into biking, now two summers ago, I wasn't sure how comfortable I would even feel in like the spandex bike outfits that you see so many hardcore cyclists ride uh, riding in. But as I've trained, I spent more time in those outfits and those clothes, and it makes me feel a lot better about myself. But also doing brick sessions where you ride your bike and then you go for a run. I've kind of conditioned myself now to anytime I go for a bike ride, I want to run afterwards. <laughs> and I definitely fuel myself off in those endurance and adrenaline highs. Being a virtual triathlon, I did have the opportunity to create my own route, which sounds maybe like a blessing, but it was also kind of challenging to come up with. I started with a swim since that was going to be the hardest thing for me to find. Living in Milwaukee, I do have Lake Michigan kind of sort of on my doorstep. <laughs> um, 
but a lot of the beaches in Lake Michigan aren't the best places to swim. Either because they're really busy, they're rocky, or just not the greatest water quality, unfortunately. So I started with that and actually found um, an open water swimming group and I'm going to use the beach that they usually swim at. And I started with that and from there I planned out my bike routes. And since I had my starting point and I knew I wanted to finish at a track to make it easier for me to keep track of my run and have it be a nice easy smooth surface as well. I didn't want to worry too much about running on the hills. Being at the end of the triathlon, I know I'm going to be tired. So I was trying to make that one an easy one for myself and easy on the joints, easy on the body. But then it was a matter of just trying to figure out how I could go from point A to point B in about 12 miles and stay on roads that I know that I'm comfortable riding on and ideally don't have a lot of traffic or at least not a lot of stop signs or stop lights because those are going to add up my time and really delay me. And so that was kind of what I used to start planning and just looked at a map and figured it out from there. Finally, if you see an opportunity, take it and dream big. You never know what you're going to accomplish unless you try. So swim, bike, run! Thank you to the village of Pleasant Prairie and Kenosha Subaru for supporting this triathlon and giving women the opportunity to compete in sport. As well as thank you to Alex Cebu and Omniverse Media Group for putting this production together. Thank you. Move. Or should I say move? <laughs>